Good afternoon from Saskatchewan. My name is Liza from Zed, and welcome back to Last Plays. And today, me and my charming assistant <laughs> are continuing with Shadowrun Returns. <laughs> this is my husband, Mike, by the way. In case you haven't seen <laughs> the four other episodes of this and you're starting with this one for some unknowable internet reason. Anyway. Okay, so... Okay, return to Coyote. Is Coyote still over here? Yes, she is. Okay, good. Did I give her a voice? I, I can't remember. <laughs> no, not really? Okay. You're back. I think the highlights of the Wolves game will be on soon. Want to take a load off and watch with me? Are the Wolves an urban brawl team? Okay. Urban Brawl is a sport in the world of Shadowrun, which is like you take two gangs and you arm them heavily and you wall off a section of slum and have them beat the shit out of each other, more or less. Well, and then they play Capture the Flag. Oh, right. And then they play Capture the Flag. With arm weapons. Yeah, right. I forgot about it. Well, I said arm them heavily. Yeah. <sighs> Just, yeah, it's Capture the flag in an urban slum with automatic weapons. Okay, so this is various levels of subtlety asking the same thing. Oh, by the way, um, I know it looks a little different today. I adjusted the settings. I adjusted the settings and the resolution. Hopefully, hopefully uh, this works better to what we were using. I think it works better. Anyway. These are all basically the same way, different ways of asking the same thing. Um, different levels of subtlety. Uh, you know someone named Jessica? No. Why? That was the name of Sam's sister. Jessica Watts. Yeah! He mentioned her once. It didn't sound like they got along that well. I don't know. I think he looks extremely happy. Uh, calmly chirps in the screen shows John Dresden quarter from Morgan Grinders. He doesn't look happy. Um, Dresden, you don't look so good. Never mind that. I'm fine. Listen, I'm at the NTSB investigation facility down on the docks with the corpse of what looks like another Ripper victim. If you want to check this out, I would get here fast before McCluskey does. Thanks for the call. I'm on my way. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Image on your PDA dissolves as the call ends. Okay, that answers that question. What question is that? If you pay the orphans fund, Aguirre calls you. Oh. You may have to pay off Aguirre when you get there. Well, I have the money to this time. So. Yep. Another Ripper murder? Where? The docks. I've got to go. Okay, listen, I want to help. You dragged me out of the Royale before something bad happened. Worse than getting my arm torn off. And Sam was my friend. You head to the docks, and I'll see if I can track down Sam's sister Jessica. She might be able to help us. Thanks, I appreciate the help. Okay, take a cab to the NSTB warehouse. Call me an Uber. Okay, you're an Uber. <laughs> God damn it, Mike! <laughs> oh, like you didn't know it was coming. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, leaving the South Seattle docks. Leaving the seamstresses union behind, you head to the docks. The Ripper killed Sam, and maybe he or she, or they, <laughs> I'm, gonna keep, I'm just going to keep doing that. Equality among murderers, damn it. Uh... I, I'm, I'm only doing it for the gags at this point. Anyway, um, me, he, or she, or they slipped up with this latest victim, left some useful evidence. Only one way to find out. South Seattle's your typical industrial area. Gert, 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 Gert. Ugh. Grit, grime, and gray. 
The rain doesn't help matters any. Layer of dirt mixed with abandoned wooden pallets, repurposed into makeshift furniture for the day workers. Garbage collects in the gutters of a broken down street. Disreputable is this district's middle name. The South Seattle Disreputable Docks? That actually has a nice ring to it. Um, or the South Disreputable Seattle Docks. Not as nice a ring. Hmm. South Seattle Disreputable Docks. That sounds right. Your destination, the National Transportation Safety Board, oh, that what N NTSB means, warehouse, is located on a small strip of dock towards the less maintained end of the waterfront. Despite the presence of those who linger in such places, it's quiet as you approach the gate. Okay. Okay, so there is a fence back there, so it's probably not worth exploring. These guys don't seem to... Uh... I will say this about this game. Mm -hmm. It does a fair amount of railroading. And at least the tracks are... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Streetwalker. Okay. Let's see what you've got to say. Hey, you looking for a good time? Know anything about the NTSB? Yeah, the bums around here have been stealing old crap from that place for years. Not worth my time, though. Okay, that's fair. Um, I hope you have a lovely evening. Uh, have lots of sex, make lots of money! Okay. Okay, that's weird. It... Um, this is one of those times where it'll fool you. Okay, up. That's the NTSB. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, you look like you mean business. HALT! Guard looks bored. He toys his gun absentmindedly, like you might shoot something on a whim just to watch it die. Hey, you're about to court. You're about to corporate on trespass property. Fuck. Why can't I read today? Hey, you're about to trespass on corporate property. You looking to get dusted, street, street scum? I'm working at the corner, Bronze. Open the gate. I'm here to see the body of the NTS person. I'm the new maintenance guy. This is my first day. I'm working with the coroner. Sure you are, and I'm Lofweir, King of Dragons. Wow, you've lost weight. Beat it. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a problem. So maybe you should find one of those bugs that she was talking about. Oh! Oh! There's a plan. There's a plan. I'm going to look into, is she really only 20 new yen? That's kind of, what were you saying about bun? Buns? We're flirting. Oh, uh, there's a ladder. It's even less subtle than I thought it was. <laughs> I'm not taking it far, I just need a little boost over the fence. Okay, sure, you got a deal. Now, obviously, I can't. Is this also the. Uh... No. Okay. Well, I can't fucking no. climb the fence where he's watching. Well, that's why you get the streetwalker to distract him. Oh, this is a two pronged plan. And then you take the ladder to the place with boards over it so that it won't fall through the fence. Oh, that's smart. It's an adventure game puzzle, but far less stupid than some. Well, yeah, there's no moon logic in this one. It's not like, use the fish with the electrical wire to... <laughs> Uh, 
Not me, a friend of mine, and you should have some fun with the guard. Alright, 20 bucks buys you a five minute distraction. Then I've got to get back to work. Okay, so she's not. Okay, you said the place with the boards over it? On that fence. Oh. Herp dirt. If you look to the side opposite the guard. Oh, right there. easy. Okay. I'm just, I'm just checking around to see if there's some place I can grab a pillow or something. Doesn't look like it. Yep, yeah, nope. Better, okay. Better luck finding something inside. Yeah, no, you're right. If there's something to grab. I don't even know if there is. Tip, hold down the alt key to show all interactable objects. Yeah, I know that one. I I have my own I have my own hint uh <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to turn it into a paperclip and it's not working. <laughs> Good. Meh. I change back. It's mighty presumptuous that you'd be able to. Well, if I turned into a sentient paperclip, I'd assume that if I was able to turn myself into a sentient paperclip, I'd be able to turn myself back. It does not always work that way. Anyway, the warehouse. Inside the large gray warehouse is as tip typical. Oh, inside the large gray warehouse is as typical as the outside. High ceilings adorned with girders and rickety catwalks top a huge utilitarian room. Concrete and steel walls meet a concrete floor. This is a place for storing things and nothing more. Wow, that rhymed. Despite the quiet on the outside, inside. In the inside is a hornet's nest of Lone Star officers going about their business. In the center of the activity is the Emerald City Ripper's latest victims. With uniforms everywhere, no one stops you at the door. It seems this case hasn't leaked to the press. Yet, Lone Star or no, you've got a job to do. Okay, um, is that... What's his name? Aguirre, yeah. Uh, oh shit, that's McCluskey, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. McCluskey's an orc. That's a troll. You are right. You again. How did you find out about this murder? Press hasn't even picked up on it yet. I have my sources. Listen, officer, I'm just trying to do right by a client. Mind if I look around? Whatever, I have better things to do. Like find the Emerald City Ripper and make something of myself. We've gone through the researcher's computer to have suspicions this is a copycat crime. Victim worked here at NTSB Warehouse as a black box researcher. I, I know what NTSB is. National Transportation and Safety Board. The warehouse is used to go over the wreckage from plane crashes. Try to determine what happened. The Vic was in charge of the highest priority investigation at the moment. We've gone through the victim's computer and his case notes indicating he was selling secrets. Idiot kept records. Uh, that'll get you killed quick. It did. Some runner like you probably often to cover up his corpse master's involvement and tried to make it look like a ripper killing. Here's the office key. Check it out yourself if you want. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Wow, and without paying him 300 yen. Yeah, uh, I was expecting I was gonna need to pay him 300 new yen. Yeah, you got a bargain on that. Um. Might be able to bypass it and get under the maintenance panel. Okay, that's not 
So, office first or Dresden first? Office first. Why? Pure whim. Fuck are you? Uh, computer looks locked through the two-factor encryption key. I do not have decking four, so I leave the computer. That's unfortunate. Is there anything else in here? Appears to be the victim's locker. The door is slightly ajar. Inside, you find several dead men's personal items. Inspect the toothbrush. Blue toothbrush is still wet from it being used. It smells of mint and cigarettes. Mint and cigarettes is my next jazz band. Uh, inspect the comb. Comb is black plastic. Has some wiry gray hair stuck in it. Okay, so dick and diddly. Wow, that was fucking pointless. You don't need to go right now! <laughs> uh, old poster depicts a svelte young woman posing with an assault rifle. Okay. I'm just gonna assume that was a reference to something. Coyote Blue, still working for the dead man? <laughs> As you can see, we've got another vi Vipper ripped him. I apologize so much for my dyslexia today. Another Ripper victim on our hands. Look like you've been putting in some overtime, Justin. Why can't you tell me about this victim? Uh, victim's male, mixed Native American descent, age 38. Mm. I'm 38, that's that's why it's creepy. Anyway, based on the condition of the body, it looks like he was killed around 2 in the morning. And yes, I'm a little tired. Boy, bodies have been piling up like cordwood, it seems. Cause of death unknown. Several internal organs were removed from his body after death, quite gruesomely. I'm not sure if the killer even knew what they wanted before they started cutting. Uh, not much else to tell yet, really. He does have a lot of pre-existing scar tissue, so he probably had a major surgery at some point in recent history. Unfortunately, with the organs gone, I can't determine the nature of the surgery. What was on the butcher's shopping list? Well, the killer definitely took the lungs. The more I look at it, though, uh, the other missing organs may just be eviscerated within the chest cavity. So the smoker's lungs are gone. You don't have to be that obvious about your hinting, thank you. I am smarter than that. Yeah, this, okay, so. I, that wasn't me hinting to make, to, that wasn't me hinting for you. That was me bringing it up for the audience. Oh, okay. Well, my audience isn't that dumb either, so. I'm sorry. Okay, yes. Um, I in case this is your first episode of of Shadowrun Returns for some unknowable internet reason, um, the the pattern is that people who would have had reasons to get the organs replaced and it's strongly hinted they did get organs replaced, later turn up dead with those organs missing. So, the killer seems to be, I don't know, maybe he's a repo man? Repossessing uh, Bioware people can't afford? Um, any theories? Sorry, I don't do theories. I'm just a scientist who happens to prefer dead people. However, 
Well, there was message damage in the chest cavity, I can see that the victim's lungs were transplant. Which is interesting, since another victim's missing heart was also a transplant. Yeah. Granted, modern medicine has made organ transplants relatively easy, but it is an odd coincidence. But as a scientist, it's just that. A coincidence. It's the only, th only the third body I've personally examined. One of our other branch managers handled the other two. If this is, if I find more of the, if I find that more of the victims had organ transplants, I'll let you know. Good. McCluskey getting you closer to a suspect. McCluskey couldn't find his ass with both hands. Don't, don't tell him I said that. Yeah, I hope he'll be gone by the time he gets here. I ain't gonna say shit. Uh, how's Officer Aguirre doing on this case? He seems like a real go-getter. Aguirre would love to solve it before McCluskey and get his gold detective shield. Plus, he'd love to see McCluskey suck it in front of his, his superiors. He's already tried to bribe me to keep information from McCluskey and slip it to him. I'm inspired by their tireless pursuit of justice. Take the money? Do you have any idea how much this job pays these days? I don't think a Greer's officer's salary is going to do much to seduce me into helping him. Um, who's that lady over there? No clue, she just showed up. Next of kin, I think. I'm gonna take a look around. Good luck out there! You're not a cop. I'm independent. What's your relationship to the dead man? He's my brother. I've been trying to speak with him. But I'm afraid his spirit is too disoriented by his recent journey to answer me. Shaman? Yes, for all the good it's doing me. If I could just make contact, I might be able to deliver justice and allow my brother's spirit to rest. I could tell you used to show her during a heavy burden, but they think there's an easier way. Perhaps. My brother's spirit is too weak. That's a given. But my brother's spirit might not be alone here this night. She closes her eyes and concentrates, droning a low chant you can barely hear. Yes, there are others. Other spirits who may be of help. Her features harden in frustration as if she's searching for something that remains elusive. <clears throat> something that remains elusive. Sighing, she opens her eyes and fixes you with a stare. But I can't do it alone. What do you need? The warehouse contains the spirits of plane crash victims trapped between worlds. They wish to help. They wish to be heard. And I think they have something to say about my brother's murder. Lone Star won't let me in here, but you seem to have the run of the place. If you can find personal items that belong to the victims, I believe I can summon a spirit to speak with us. I'll need at least two such objects. Can you find them for me? Toothbrush and comb. Nope, those were her brothers, and she's already said she can't something. Oh, damn. Well, I'll do what I can. Would I not be able to do any summoning? You could. Large pile of old shoes. Uh, dig through the shoe pile. Nothing interesting about the shoes in the pile. Walk away. Okay. Hard to say whether this is a heap of items and refuse recovered from a plane crash or simply trash that hasn't been taken out yet. Dig through the trash. <clears throat> a sticky substance of some sort seems to have seeped through the trash pile, and your hands are quickly covered with the stuff. After searching for a minute, you unearth a handful of interesting items. Inspect the earrings. Earring is made of burnished steel, forms the shape of a small salmon. An intense primal fear watches over you as you touch its surface. This must be one of the items the shaman was looking for. Take the earrings. Inspect the dented lunchbox. A dented tin lunchbox that's seen better days. You can barely make out the face of a grinning troll on the front. Okay. Inspect the cred stick. <laughs> Surprisingly, the cred stick is still functional. You slot in your PDA, and 200 new yen is added to your account. Okay. That's nice. Okay. This is the only thing I can think of. Uh, 
Okay. It feels as though you have found enough objects. Yes. My mystical plot sense is tingling. You have found enough objects. Okay, let's hear that. Sorry. You hand her the objects you found. She closes her eyes and chants over them for a time. With when her eyes <clears throat> when her eyes open again, they're filled with tears. Thank you. These items are all I will need. It shouldn't take me long to Ah oh, fuck! I thought you were going to make a crude comment about me saying it shouldn't take me long to off oh, fuck. No, you're classier than that? Well, right now I am. Uh, uh, evil J.K. Simmons. What the hell is all this? She's the victim's sister, sir. She... This is a crime scene officer, not some sailish drum circle. Isn't it standard procedure to contact the next of kin? Ma'am, consider yourself contacted. Oh, he's such a charmer. Now get the hell out! Come on, if we stay much longer, I'm liable to do something I'd regret. Or worse, something I'd enjoy. I like her. I love Santa. That man is an ass. Lady, you are not just whistling Dixie. But there's no helping it now. I should just be grateful you were able to collect these items before those pods carted everything off. Can we still summon the spirit? Not from here, I'm afraid. Spirits such as these have domains to which they are anchored. We need to get back there. <clears throat> Uh, rent cops like these won't tie up the place for long. Agreed. I expect it will be clear by nightfall. Sure you're up for this? It may be a rabbit hole, but I have to get to the bottom of it. Whatever your reason, I thank you. Now, since we have the time, we should probably enlist some help. They may post security overnight. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you know where to find the kinds of people we need. Good, I'll put up the money if you find the bodies. She produces a fistful of crumpled Nguyen inside a leather pouch. Nguyen have physical currency? Bills? Huh. <laughs> uh, it starts to count it out, then shoves the whole wad at you. Meet me here back at midnight. The spirits will be strong then. Okay. What? They're probably UCAS dollars. Oh, UCAS dollars, and they're just calling them the end. Yeah, that makes sense. As you start to leave the warehouse, your calm link chirps, and the face of, si face of Coyote pops on the screen. Hoi, Coyote Blue. You in the middle of something? Just getting jerked around by the Lone Star, same old thing. I hear you. I don't know if I told you this, but I was born in the Royale. No, you didn't tell me that, but literally everybody else did. BTL pushers like Stevie J ran the squats. Ran my world when I was growing up. I remember. Wiz. I have a cousin, Gino, who's been missing for months. He hit the sprawl about a year ago and immediately fell in with some tweakers. Bad guys. They hooked him on some high amp dream chips and started using him for all sorts of dreck. I tried to help him, but he pushed me away. Then he disappeared. I've been shooting up BTL labs ever since trying to find him. You're on a crusade. Maybe. That's what Miss Kubota calls it. Yeah, that's literally why I called it a crusade. To tell you that she told me. You dense motherfucker. Her face lights up. She's running hot. Has a serious edge. I know exactly where he is this time. Got an old friend who eyeballed him herself. I'm on my way. Paco's with me, but we could use another hand. You in? I need you right now. Will this prevent me from working the Ripper thing? No? Okay. I'm tempted to say I work, I get paid, but 
On my way. I knew you'd come. I'll send you the address. See you soon. You're a soft touch. I am a soft touch. I need friends as badly as I need New Yen. Yes. No, especially friends with good with shotguns. Yeah, exactly. See, it's not just about the soft touch. Uh, Coyote's Crusade. Cluster of dilapidated buildings where Coyote told you to meet her appears to be the remnants of a public housing project. The buildings look like a cesspool filled with human debris. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so evocative. You find her standing with Paco on a street corner, eyeing the roofs, the doorways, the windows. Despite his attempts to engage her, Coyote barely says a word as the three of you weave your way through the tenements. She walks purposefully, her new cyber hand flexing open and closed with each step. It's unclear whether the action is voluntary or not. You circle around the back of a building and Coyote jumps up, grabs the bottom rung of a fire escape ladder and pulls it down. Without a signal, she starts her climb towards the roof. Paco looks at you worriedly and starts up the ladder. Thanks for meeting us, Coyote Blue. I owe you one. Now, Sweat, I figure you could use the backup. Let's get it done. I have a killer to find. You got it. Oh, hey, listen, I got good news for you. You know Sam's killer, Jessica? One of my contacts found her for me while you were on your way here. I called her and asked her to meet you at the Union today. I hope that helps. Good job, thanks. At least I can do. All right, let's get this done. My cousin Gino should be in one of the squats past that door up ahead. I hear there's a whole lab set up in there. From my experience, there's usually a lookout watching for cops outside and a guard at the door inside. Like I said, I don't know much fire. I don't know how much firepower to expect, but these guys are nasty. So stay on guard. I want to get in, grab Gino, and get out. Right behind you, babe. Let's do this. Oh, Coyote and Paco must survive. Mm -hmm. Okay. York looks twitchy, his eyes rolling in his head. He scans the three of you, looks past to see if there are others, licks his lips, and nods throughout as if going through some internal check checklist. Hoi! Hoi! How you doing? Good day for a trip, ain't it? This guy's a clocker. Trades work time for chips. Part salesman, part lookout. Probably has a signal device for the guys inside. Uh, you wanna go on a ride? Uh, what kind of rides can I go on? We got it! All of it! We got it all! We got it all! Yeah, what you wanna do? You wanna do some crime? You wanna be bad? We can hook you up. Don't roll that way. Wanna be a hero? Be a hero! We got Fairy Tale, Drek, Chummer's Love, you name it. And you can slag and frag to your heart's content. That's the real thing, right? Slagging and fragging? Doesn't matter what the trip is as long as there's slagging involved, right? That, that, that. Coyote's eyes are hard for your per her pupils' tight little print pricks of hate. You do snuff, too, don't you? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. For the right price. You'd feel it. What it's like to die. What it's like to kill. How's this place operate? How do I get in? That's the best part! The best part! It's a lab! They test the new stuff here. The hottest track. You place a special order. They might get happen. You buy a pass card from the guy at the door. It'd be... Uh, it'll get you in and out anytime you want. Then you buy a beetle and a slot right there. Our guard stays while you're chipping. Safest way, Chummer. Safest way. You sell BTLs, right? Oh yeah, Chummer. Oh yeah. Better than life. Definitely better. Dream chips. Mind genitors. Stimson. Stimson's with the peak limits. High octane intensity. Don't you think you're hurting people selling this drag? See, I'm worried I'll, I'll, I'll tip him off. Well, then you can just say, just let me in. Okay, just let me in. I'll see you around after this. Probably see you lots. Okay, you are creepy, and I don't like you. The sinless are free. Well, you're not completely wrong. Um, Charlie? Concerned woman? Let's talk to concerned woman. Don't do it, friends. Don't slot the dreck they're selling. BTLs are killers. There's most of all. Uh, you sound like you know from experience. I do know. Lost my husband. Lost my son. My daughter. They use her. 
We're looking for a kid named Gino. You know him? Who doesn't? He's here all the time. Gino's a clocker. Trades his time for chips. Like that little errand boy. I saw him go in there this morning. He hasn't come out, so I assume he's riding a dream chip. Uh, do you have a pass card to get in there? No, but Jamal has. My son's card. Took it off his... I took it off him when his brain fried. Jamal's down the hall. Don't know if he'll give it up, but that's between you and him. What kind of guards do they have on this place? They're serious. This place is backed by the Yakuza. Oh, shit. Japanese Mafia. Oh, man. How many and what kind of firepower? There's a guy in the door. Charlie. He sells the passes to get in. He's not tough. Blind in one eye. There's another five or so wandering around. Two of them are bad news, covered in magical symbols. Mean. Five or six? That's not so bad. We have some prize on our side. Any chip heads inside the lab? Yep. All day, all night. They can be dangerous, too. Chip heads? Dangerous? Once someone's chipped, they can send them any pro program they want. Make them do whatever. Turn them into whores, killers, anything. Okay, gotta go. Okay, I've gotten all the information from her I can. Jamal has the look of a long-time chiphead, emaciated, hollow-eyed, but hungry and desperate. What you looking at, Spikey? I hear you have a pass card. You are right, I got a few. I sell them at discount. Charlie charges 50 new yen for him, but I can get you three for 100. I was thinking 75, and I was thinking slot off. Maybe you should just hand it over. This is the Baron's, am I? You want it, you take it. Oh, shit. Um. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Fuck yeah. Worn mangled notebook. It smells of sweat and alcohol. Uh, names of... Illegal Simpsons rides in the names of clients who's perfect them. Interesting detail names. Uh, I can fly to the real life recording such as Bum Killer. Let's, um. Okay. Just think, for just a hundred new yen, you too can be a crazed butt stabber. The list of rides doesn't seem to have much value. Uh, interesting client names. Upon further examination, client lists more than a simple list of names. It also contains, contains, pri con mm. contains private information about some of the more well-to-do connected clientele. It may be the syndicate behind this lab is directing certain clients here to strictly extract information for them while they're under the influence. Oh, that's interesting. Likely worth something you can sell. Yeah, I'll take that fucking notebook. Why are you doing that? Um, so it's easier for all of us to do this. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. There appears to be nothing to take off Jamal's corpse. Interesting in here. Anything interesting over here? No, this is all just bullshit self dressing. Okay. The entire floor of this tenement has been given over to a chaos of technology and squalor. Across the room, a chromed out decker argues loudly with an armed thug, abruptly falling silent as they turn towards you. It's the crew that took out Stevie J's place! I told you it was only a matter of time! God damn it, how do they recognize us? They're just assuming. The man with the cyber deck calmly speaks with a heavily digitized voice. You messed with the wrong BTL lab, ow. This is a Yakuza operation. I'm sorry. With the push of a button, I can make these tweakers into my own personal killer puppets. You're fragged. 
Cody Blue, don't attack any of the chip heads. They don't know what they're doing, and you could hurt G Gino. No civilian casualties. Got it. I have a concussion grenade. Better than fragging the tweakers if they get caught in the middle. Okay. Um, that's good. Dance for me! Oh, our our gra. What? What in God's name is that? That's a toxic spirit of evil. Oh, well, I feel bad for summoning that thing. How can I put this? Exactly what spirit were you expecting to find in a Yakuza-owned BTL lab? You know... You're right, and I apologize. Um... Let's not push our luck. That and that thing's gross, and I don't think I want to be associated with it. You know, something occurred to me. You shouldn't feel bad at all for those moments where you're like, Oh, I came up with a bad plan. Uh huh. And now things are going south on me. Coyote That's true. And what's more with feeling? Oh, shit! God damn it! How the hell did that happen? I'm not sure. Oh my god, the spirit! The spirit didn't disappear. It just, she just lost control of it. Hmm. So, and it started geeking chip heads. Ugh. That sucks. Yeah, it think I've really ever does. Seen that before. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a spirit go wild when. The summoner died when 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 the NPC summoner died. Instead of just disappearing. I apologize for the bad advice. Though. You've never seen it before. Uh, is this a friendly fire game? Um, only for uh, only for um area attacks. You can shoot into melee all you want, but uh, long range, but shotguns at more than six hexes. At, at Gino, more than... Gino, guy won't attack us anymore. Poor tweakers. Oh god, I feel so bad. That fucking spirit. You eject the BTL Gino's been riding. He gasps suddenly and his eyes flutter open. He looks confused, worse than the other chip heads you've seen. His lips are white and chapped, his eyes sunk into his head. There's vomit on his shirt and his sweat on his forehead. When he speaks, his, word is, his words are slurred. He's burnt. What? What the hell? Who slotted me out? Who fragging slotted me out? Gino, it's me. It's Carla. Slow me back in, goddammit! This is bullshit! I don't want to be here anymore! Slow me back in! He looks around the room angrily. His hand reaches for his implant. Coyote grabs his wrist, stops him. Gino, no. Coyote, be careful. Gino wrenches his wrist from Coyote's grasp and he staggers back, reaches under his shirt, and pulls out a gun! Coyote watches him, horrified with tears in her eyes. Gino waves it around, blinking wildly. Back off! Just back the hell off! Your brain burnt, kid. You gotta get an ah, uh, that's that's not letting him down gently. Take it easy, Gino, we're backing off. He presses his hands to the side of his head, his fingers still on the trigger, squints. What the hell is wrong with you people? We're trying to help you. This is how you help me? Look at this place! Look at me! He looks around the squalor of the room, then glimpses his own reflection in the machinery. Oh god, look at me. There are drugs that can help you, Gino. We can go slow. We'll... 
We'll go slow. <sighs> he drops the gun and Paco quickly scoops it up. Coyote grabs him fiercely. He slumps into her arms and she rocks him for a long time, her head buried in his shoulder. When she looks up, she locks eyes with you, the deepest gratitude reflecting on her face. We're done here. I'm done. I don't need to set foot in another one of these places ever again. Oh, but I wanted to loot the joint. Sorry. Shannon's plan is the best lead you've got to find out more about the Ripper. But getting back to the warehouse is going to require some support. In case the Drek hits the fan. The Seamstresses Union will have exactly what you... Actually, why the fuck am I reading this? Yeah, we're going to knock off? We're going to knock off. Okay. Okay, so let's leave it there. Um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Comment if it made you think. Share if you know someone else you think would like it. And to subscribe if you want to see more. And that's it for now from me and from my lovely assistant, Mike. <laughs> and I hope I see you again next time. Play me out, Bowman. Bowman.